Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. It's very late, it's pitch black outside. I'm not normally that late, but today is one of those days I'm behind my own schedule, so I'm very late. But hey ho, today we're going to be making a really nice, a fun, concertina style album. This is perfect for scrapbooking if you want to put your photos or your memories. Um, and there are some invisible pockets yes invisible to the human side <laughs> right guys keep watching and i will see you very soon okay guys welcome back on the desk it's pitch black it's very late i don't normally craft this late but because jamie's on is working too late today i have to do some washing um, I had to do a few things in the morning, so I'm actually late on my own schedule. So today we're going to be making the super cute concertina sort of style album with invisible pockets. But I'll tell you later why they are invisible. And I bet you, until I show you at the end of the video, you won't be able to find them. So the album opens like this. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four pockets in here, and there are two pockets on this side. But you will discover them later on in the video. Okay, so before I show you how to make it, let me show you the, my new release, my new kit that I have used to make this project. Okay, this kit is huge, it's part of my suite. In total, there's 14 pages, so it's huge, it's very, very big. So let me show you the background first. All my product suites are basically made with a combination of different kits combining together and create like a product suite because they're all matching together. So this is one of them. So let me show you the background first. So you get, I love this, love the flowers. So you've got a few uh, backgrounds. It's all about photos and memories. And of course, it wouldn't be me without some flowers. So another one here. And I don't know what you can see, but these are very, um, very lifestyle sort of um, style. <laughs> can get my words together to describe these roses. Of that. So this is a combination of photos and some black and white floral. Just, I really like the contrast. They're amazing, like, if you put it like a journal like that. Then we've got some envelopes. So you've got a large scallop envelope and two, two squares envelopes. You just need to fold it in there. Then you get another background. Now this one here, I actually added up some um, tickets, some ephemera, some old photos, some maps just to create something that it kind of goes with the, your memory in the past that you want to treasure, hence why it's called Treasure Memories. Then you get another kit part of this suit suite that is including tags and embellishments. So you get lovely tags there. Then I combined four photos into one page. So these, these can be just cut to make tags or cards that are really really nice cards that would be then we got some gift boxes so this is the pillow box and some butterflies and some um, uh, fruit bobbins another one with more embellishments you got three small tags they're all scalloped you got some tabs some butterflies some embellishment uh, again, you can fussy cut these um, and use it as an embellishment or you can put some words in it. And then part of the suite, we got the Memories Lane. The Memories Lane, which is the, the kit I showed you last week when we made this one. Okay, so I'll show you the papers now. So that's the main page, the main focus. Then the second page, you get two envelopes. They are perfect if you do a gift card or even like greetings card or mini tags. The third page, ta-da! Yes, tags, because we all like tags. 
and they already done for you see focus on me don't focus on yep it's got like a scallop end the hole is already there so you just need to punch it and the number four is a meal carton okay guys so the starting points are actually let me zoom out a tiny bit squares so it's got to be a square no matter what size how big a house more you want you can go mad to 12 by 12 i am using 8 by 8 so out on a sheet of a4 i get one of those and you get that but we're going to use that for the pockets so you get out on a sheet of a4 you get pretty much no waste you're just going to get a little leisure there which put in the bin uh, but you, you you will use all your A4. So what I've done, I score it at four, so in a half. So you've got four square that each square is four by four. Okay, so what we need to do, we now need to score on a diagonal line. Because this is where the fold is going to be. Just bear with me one second. And then one more. I'm using three, but again, it depends how big you want it. You can use as many square as you please. Okay. Ooh, that's gone on the floor. That's how clumsy I am. So what we're going to do, guys, we're just going to fold everything now. Like proper, proper, proper fold. And just be careful on the diagonal line. I'm just going to fold them all. Just going to do all the squares and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got our squares. Why is Zoom saying so much? I don't understand this. So that's the squares. Okay all nice fold all the score lines now position the square so the tip of the square is facing your belly and the diagonal line is parallel to you this is really important don't mess this step up okay so that's the diagonal line the point is pointing your belly okay so we're going to do the same so we're going to glue this square here This glue is now behaving. We, we're back to be friends because so there was some point that we didn't really be, uh, we, we weren't really good friends. So what you need to do, the second square that you glued, so the diagonal line is parallel to that. So again, the point of that square is facing your belly. So attach that square on top of that and we do exactly the same so we put that square there so as you can see you can go as much like this can be like a 25 squares or 10 square or two squares or three squares like my case so you can make this folio as big as long as you want okay I'm going to let it dry completely before we fold it. Okay, so. so I love doing this. It, it makes it excite me. I know I'm probably very sad. But I love it. I love the way it opens and closes. So, start with the first square. Okay. Let's open it up completely. So, let's start with the square on your left hand side. So, the diagonal lines is there. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to pinch the two sides up and press it down. Okay, so you do this fold here. I'm going to shut up and probably it's better for you guys to look at it. Okay, so those two, lift it up and press it down. And you do exactly the same on here. Okay, so now I suggest you play with the paper first 
to make sure the fiber of the paper bend easily okay and we do exactly the same on here but on the back so keep pressing this this fold down and then again lift those two are coming down there and those two press that down you will see a bit of, because the paper you've got the the thickness so there is a bit of resistance so that's the last the square on your left lift it up and fold it down and then you put that there okay now before we do anything you're just going to put the closure of um of your album so you can either mark it so i'm going to use a green pen so i know that here on this square here and on this square here we're going to put some there's a little but you probably can see it okay then what you guys do open it back up you want to create pockets whenever you wanted to now i suggest you could even have pockets in here on this triangle i personally avoid that because when the paper fold if you got things stuck in it they're going to be on the way so i suggest you create your pocket on this square here so that square that square that square and that square uh, you, we're going to use well i'm using my paper but you can use any paper that you want you're going to create a triangle to decorate it and these are actually function as pocket okay so once you fold it back up it won't affect anything okay so if you're using if you do eight by eight like i'm doing today i just cut two squares there are three and three quarter square okay so i literally because it, it in each square is four by four but i created three three quarter by three quarter and i'm going to cut them in half Okay, so I get the triangle. I'm not going to show you how to decorate them because I think you guys get the gist of it. But I'm going to put that pocket there, one maybe there, one here and one there at the very end i don't think i can fit it all in camera oh no i can i can i can i can i can i can okay so i'm going to decorate it all i'm going to put all papers everywhere and i'll be right back i show actually i thought before i decorate it let me show you how to put your strings do you know when we marked i marked with the my jelly pen so what you need to do you need to put a string just like what i've done some double side tape because we're going to put a paper so you won't be able to see anything and the same on that side so when you open it your closure will be like there okay so don't forget to do that before you put any paper on top okay i just use this string because i quite like to to have the more like a rustic finish but you can put any really nice ribbon or organza or anything that you want okay so that's one side that's the closure so that's the front and that's the back and that is the other side what do you guys think i love this sort of project because this can be as big as you want as long as you want now they called i called them invisible pockets because you can't see them only i know where they are do you remember if you follow the uh, little tip i gave it to you don't put them on the diagonal lines put them on the square well you can see the squares one square two square third square and fourth square so the pocket stay there the pocket is here so there's one pocket there there's one pocket there there's one pocket there and there's one pocket there 
and exactly the same principle applies on the back now because that's the that's the four square one two three and four now because two of the squares are destined to be your open enclosure on this side you're only going to have two pockets one here and one here nobody is stopping you to put the the pockets on a triangle just be very very mindful that when you when you close the, when you close the the album they might be on your way okay so that's the only thing you need to bear in mind with okay let me close and i'll show you what it looks like when it's closed what's going on not fold in there. there there you are and that it looks and then we're just gonna close it there okay so that's the front that's the back okay super super simple it looks complicated guys but it's not hope you enjoy it okay guys before we go we're going to do a little cheeky giveaway so if you watch till the end you're going to get a little spoil. So I'm going to put one, this kit, one, um, one lucky winner will have this kit email for free. So my treasured memory suite. So my question to you is, is my, is my birthday next month? Um, so when it, when it get March arrives, I'm very, very excited because it's just one month till my birthday. So I'm going to ask you, when is my birthday? What day? Now, there are a few people that know this. So I'm asking you guys not to spoil for everybody. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, how old I'm going to be? Because I know that a lot of you knows that my birthday is the 5th of April. So, yeah, my birthday is the 5th of April. But how old am I going to be on the 5th of April this year? So leave it down in the comments, just put a number between 0 and 99, or you can put between 100 and 200. <laughs> the person that gets right, I will, not going to say anything in the comments, of course, but I'll um, I'll do a video, going to leave a week, uh, just to give it the, the chance to everybody to watch this video. And I will tell you who was right. And if there's more than one that guessed right, then everybody that gets right, you get the kit. Okay, good luck everyone. Okay guys, good luck with the giveaway. Also, I've done, don't remember if it's last year, the year before, or even the year before that, a similar style album. Uh, it's still a Cosentina effect with some really nice pockets. They are, they were very big, but I will put the link somewhere on the screen now. So if you if you guys want to watch this tutorial, just click direct into the picture. It will take you into the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate your love and support. If you like this video, the usual thumbs up is always much appreciated. And a cheeky follow and share with your friends if you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Big kiss. And I'll see you on Friday for a really nice Friday freebie. Have a lovely evening or day. Depends what time you're watching. And I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye.